So I run into the crime scene and I see a biker. I look at the victim and I see slash marks on his chest, all marks on his arm, partial wounds on his face. I'm thinking immediately, oh, this looks like a werewolf attack. I really want to do wolf character. So I clean this area, but then I find a claw in the tire and I see feathers. Once I see the feathers, I'm thinking, oh man, I don't want to do another bird. I want to try to do something different. I walk over to the crime scene. And there is someone who's been killed by a venom injection, so I think, oh no, snake, pass. And I go off into another direction. I stumble along a picnic. The picnic has just been scattered. There's stepped on food. The victim's got giant claw marks on her chest, on her leg, on her arm, and underneath her nails, there's gray fur. She had been battling with this thing. There's also a baby shoe with blood on it. So I'm thinking that whatever this creature is, obviously slashed her to death, the bird's the baby. I grab the number, and after I check out the crime scene, I'm already thinking it's a werewolf. I'm having a really hard time sketching this out, trying to find something that's different and unique about this werewolf. It's so hard to make one that hasn't been done. Nicole and Derek are able to get to the other crime scenes and have already claimed them. So I run to the crime scene that Roy's looking at, and I grab the number as quick as I can, <laughs> because I definitely don't want a sick. Everything else is picked. So now I have no choice. That's not a good way to start off. 